Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to do a video on the skincare products that I have been using for almost a month now from FabFitFun. I swear I am not sponsored by FabFitFun. I'm just having tons of fun uh, being a member and exploring all these products that I never had access to before because I cannot afford them. Um, anyway, I wanted to talk about the skincare I've been using because last week or so my husband looked at me and he just goes, your skin is glowing. It looks amazing. And he was like, I don't know which of those many products it is, but try not to overdo it and keep it up and figure it out because you look great. Not that you didn't before. He's always good about following up with that. Anyway, so I'm going to start off with cleansers. I um, wanted to start off by saying that this, was, this has been my beloved cleanser since I was 13 years old. And I looked on the back recently and um, it's got parabens. I was so so sad to discover that now that I'm, I'm becoming more aware of the ingredients in my products, parabens, parabens, and then I, so I looked up parabens and they, they may have links to causing breast cancer. There's no, no really proven research, but it's kind of like if you can get it out of your skincare and your products, you might as well. So I am, um, Sending this to the grave. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Anyway, so I needed to. I need to find a new cleanser. I tried this one. This is the Caring. It's Karen G, and I, I discovered that it's pronounced Caring. Uh, it's Karen Grossman, and she did kind of a play on her name, so it's supposed to be pronounced Caring. And the bottle is um, the design is such that you can't really see it well if I hold it up to the camera. But this is what it looks like. This has the consistency of. Um, Cetaphil, but it's which means it's like it's no lather. It's very very um, moisturizing, very gentle. Uh, no soapiness, no soapy lather. I said that. Uh, so, um, but the thing is, it kind of smells like lemon pledge. So I used it once, and I I almost I put it in my giveaway pile. Now that I'm holding it again, maybe I will try again because I do think that she makes good products. I have another one I'll talk about later on in this video. But um, I, I just, it smells very much like Lemon Pledge. So if you don't mind that smell, I really would recommend this cleanser. I, I love it. it. It feels just like this. And um, Karen Grossman, it's all natural um, ingredients and whatnot. So I would recommend this if you can deal with Lemon Pledge smell. Okay, so that's that cleanser. I'll give it one more try. Um, but instead, I've been using this one, the Murad uh, Refreshing Cleanser. Uh, it's a good cleanser. It's a little... I have dry skin. I should have started with that. I have dry skin. Um, it's a little maybe too drying for me. I'm not sure. I'm still filling it out. It's nice, and it's got a little bit of a soapiness to it, and something... Um, I can say the reason I know it's a little bit too drying is because I'm having issues right here on my earlobes where I don't put my moisturizer typically. Um, they're very dry and they kind of hurt and I, I it's acted up a few days ago so I've been putting argan oil on it and it's, it's getting better already. Um, argan oil is amazing but um, anyway so I think this might be a little bit too drying for my skin. Uh, it's a great cleanser though uh, and I have very dry skin so um, I, I wouldn't repurchase this even in another sale. Uh, but I, I, it's not to say I wouldn't recommend it. I just don't think it worked very well for me. Um, so that's that. I will still use it and I'll use it up. It's, it's nice. Uh, but yeah, I would not get it again, even at sale price. Um, and then, uh, so I, I'm going to guess that this is like retails for 70. It's a big bottle and I got it for about nine or 12 or something in the sale. Okay. So that's it for cleansers. I'm going to go on to masks now. So I did, um, a girl and alchemist review. I will link it up above me. Um, so this is, uh, so I won't talk much about this so this, because you can just go look at that see what I thought. I, I do like it. Um, it's a gel mask. Um, and then so I use that every few days. I do a mask nearly every night. I just love them. I feel so pampered when I do a mask. Um, and then here I uh, have been using the Terra Mare Rose Hip and Green Tea Nourishing Mask. Now this one, this is a nice mask. It's kind of got a gel consistency. It has an, it's Rose Hip and Green Tea, but 
it has kind of just a tangy smell is how I can describe it. And so it's not a bad smell. I don't like it. I don't dislike it. It's just, it's a tangy smell. Um, so it's got kind of a gel-like consistency. It goes on. It feels like a very cooling gel mask and it's nice. The wild thing about this one is that it retails for, I believe, $112. I got it for, I think, $19 just thinking, oh, that must be amazing. And it's nice, but by God, $112. And I think that perhaps it's uh, because it's an organic vegan uh, high-end company. And organic vegan does not come cheap. It's a lifestyle I aspire for, but, you know, it, it, it's hard to afford. Um, so I think that that could be part of it. Um, and it comes with this stone, which you put in the freezer, and then you rub on your face. Um, after the 15 minutes, you've had this on your face. And that feels really, really relaxing. It's it's lovely. It's a lovely mask. $112. Oh, my. Um, so, no, I would not repurchase this at full price. And I probably, I, I just want to explore all kinds of masks. So I'm, I'm not jumping and praying that it's in a sale again. I don't love it that much. But it's nice. It is nice. Um, and if you're just wanting to try it and you have the $19, try it. Try it. It's good. Um, so that's it for uh, pre-skin care masks. And then here is, um, this is a serum. Now this one's really interesting. It's from Finland. It's a Finnish company. I haven't seen any other products by Supermood. Ego Boost One Minute Facelift Serum is what it's called. And then it's uh, it says it's Super Firming Serum with Natural Chaga Mushroom for all skin types, which is really, really interesting to me. And, you know, One Minute Facelift Serum, I think that's all I needed to read, and I was just like, add to cart. This was also in the fall edit sale, so I was going a little nuts. Um, I am glad I bought this. This smells awful. Um... Not awful, but it's just, it's not the most pleasant smell. I'm trying to think of something that I can equate it to. Uh, maybe like, ugh, I'll, I'll try to think of something, but it's just, it's not an, it's, it's not awful. It's, I can tolerate it. It feels good enough and like it's actually doing something on my skin that I will continue to use it. It's, like this cleanser, I just can't stand, I, I pledge, lemon pledge, it just brings me back to my childhood and dusting with that stuff and I, I don't want to, I don't know. Anyway, so this isn't a pleasant smell, but I feel like when I put it on, I feel my skin kind of, it does, it feels like it tightens up and it feels extremely smooth to touch and I just, it, it, it really feels like a facelift. It's really interesting. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use this up. Um, I wish I remembered. I'm going off a of memory here on prices. I will if I get around to it. I will put the what I paid and the retail price down in the description box below. Um, I don't know. You know, if I knew more about serums, I could say whether or not I thought that this was amazing enough to hope for in another sale. Um, but I think that it works really well. I think I think it does something for me. I definitely do. So I'm going to keep my eye on this one. Um, yeah. Uh, and so the next serum I am using is, uh, this is Caring. Uh, again, the, the just same, same line. So I said I was going to talk about something else here. This is a retinol uh, renewing serum. And I am new to retinol. And um, I, this also smells a little bit like Lemon Pledge, but um, not as much. I don't like the smell of this one either, but it's not as strong. And I really wanted to try out retinol, so I just keep on using it anyway. It's not the last thing that goes on my face, so the smell isn't what I'm left with. Um, I think it's been an excellent, excellent introduction to retinol. Um, and... Yeah, I would recommend it if you don't mind the slight lemon pledge smell. I also looked it up because my husband was like, "Why do you? Why does your face smell bad these days?" And I looked up and I read, I found a New York Times article on how lately beauty products don't smell that great as they steer away from artificial scents and chemicals and whatnot. They they just don't. It's 
we're not in the days of Dior and all of those products from the 90s that were heavily perfumed anymore. So anyway, so uh, this is an excellent introduction to a retinol serum. And if it didn't smell like this, I would probably jump on getting another one. I will, I will try out a different one and then see how that goes. But I, I do recommend this as an intro to retinol. Um, and uh, I can do another video about what I did to m mitigate the flakiness on the retinization. I did some reading and I kind of came up with my own little gauge on when I needed to um, put oils. I used oils. <laughs> that's it. I used oils. Um, okay. So now that's that. And then I have been using the Do It All Pharmacy Eye Cream. This is the first eye cream. This came in the fall box. Um, this is the first eye cream that I have, uh, regularly used and it feels nice. Uh, I've been using it a lot. Um, uh, it feels nice. I feel like it could be doing more. I don't know that this is the end all be all of eye creams. I'm going to be branching out. I actually, I have an eye cream on deck to use by this, uh, company. So hopefully that goes nicely. Um, anyway, it's good. It's good. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's better out there. Now this one, I would pay full price for this. I would absolutely pay a full price for this. I have been, and I've talked about it on my channel before. I genetically have turkey neck. I'm 36 and I'm already having issues with it. And you can see in some of my previous videos, um, especially over a month ago that it was worse. This product, it's the, okay, I should tell you what it is. It's the Dermalect Self-Esteem Firming, Self-Esteem Neck Firming Lift. I have gone through half of it, I would say. You can't see, it's just white. Um, at first I was putting it on morning and night because I am just so eager to start figuring out what to do about this, but I honestly... I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I feel like, I mean, it's still there. It's still there for sure. But <laughs> it used to be like so much more prominent. And I would see it in my videos after I would record. I would be like, oh, it's god awful. And then now I look at my videos and I'm thinking, Holy cow, that stuff is working. I would pay full price for this. I would. I would, I would, I would. I'm going to try more by this brand. Absolutely. Big thumbs up. I can't. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. Okay, almost done. The last thing I have been using this. It came in the winter box, and um, I like it. I've used it as an overnight mask. It says hydration cream mask. I'm a, I can be a literal person sometimes, and nothing about this says that it's just for your face. It just says skin. Um, it is in is is uh, Israel. Israel, I believe, is where Ahava. Yes, Israel is where Ahava products come from, and then they're distributed by a German company. Um, anyway, so it could be a translation thing, but um, I like it. I like it. It feels, it's a very thick moisturizer. You put it on your face. You can either wash it off or sleep in it. I sleep in it, and I do feel like my skin feels extra moisturized. <laughs> That's it. That's it. All of these, all of these right there. <laughs> That's what I've been using. That's what I've been using lately. Um, anyway, uh, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, introduce yourself. I want to hear about what you've been using and you love to. Okay, um, have a lovely day, evening, whatever. I will be on a business trip next week, so I won't be filming for a little bit. I will be back week after next. Okay, bye.